What's up, everybody? Stephen here. Welcome to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into Vampire the Vampire Diaries, episode number seven of season number two, called Masquerade. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, of course, you've been enjoying this series. If you have, you can hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, Patreon for the full reaction if you want it. If you don't, that's totally cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. Uh, so last episode, they killed Mason. Now, I thought that his. They they handled his they handled his death really well, but I kind of feel like we could have waited on him like dying because I actually liked him as a character. I thought he was actually a really interesting, cool character, so very different than the the um the Stefan and and uh Damon. And I would have liked to have seen more about it, but I think they handled his death pretty well. They introduced Catherine and Catherine's plan B and all that, so I get why they killed him to like show you know the boys ain't fucking around but also they could have done more with him i don't know what they could have done with him but more it was almost like as soon as his plan to kill them went out the window um they killed him which makes sense but i just i don't know i kind of feel like he killed a cool character and they could have done more with him. but i thought the same thing about anna i thought she was a cool character too and they killed her this, this show's interesting. They kill characters left and right, actually, pretty often. Or at least characters that seem like semi-main uh, characters. Not pretty often, but two or three times a season. Characters that seem like they're going to be something actually get killed. Um, even Nana's mom. That, that was another uh, death there as well. Um, other than that, was it this ep last episode that Stefan and uh, Nana broke up? For real this time? Can't remember. Of course, uh, Catherine's plan B is to take Matt and have him go at uh, Tyler until, uh, yeah, Tyler kills him. So we'll see what happens there. I can't remember. So that was maybe. So let's hop in here. Have a good time. Too much. Here we go. <laughs> then I had to pretend to use the bathroom, even though I didn't really have to go because I'm. Why did he look at her like he didn't know her? Good catch. You're good. What gave me away? Was it the hair or was it my clothes? Well, and I'm gonna kill her tonight. You're not gonna kill her. Are Don't we? give me that goody goody crap. You're not gonna kill her. Oh, really? Why? Because I am. We're not gonna do anything, Jeremy. She tried Ooh. to kill Jenna. We can't let her get away with that. Yes, we can. If it keeps us safe, then we can. You can kill us at any moment. What if she tries something else? She won't. Why? Catherine hurt Jenna because I didn't do what she said. Well, I'm doing it now. Me and Stefan are over it. Whoa, get chill. Do not sneak up on a vampire. Oh, you're not a vampire? Holy shit. Don't attack a witch. Oh. You want me there tonight? No, I need you to stay with Elena. I don't want to Jeremy shouldn't be this. there either. Okay, well, I'll make sure she doesn't leave my sight. All right. If anybody wants to back out, I don't understand. Uh, Jeremy? Yeah, cold feet speak now. I don't want this going wrong because someone chickens out. Jeremy? Caroline. I won't. Okay. Here's the deal. <laughs> do you know what you have to do? I'm going to get Tyler Lockwood really drunk. I'm going to start a fight with him and I'm going to beat him until he snaps. Oh, and then? shit. I won't stop until he kills me. Oh my God, why are you here, bro? I know why you're here, but damn, man, this is going to go bad for you. What's gonna throw things off is the fact that there's work. another witch here. That's so what's perfect. probably gonna happen is Bonnie's gonna try to trap her and then the other girl's gonna untrap her or some shit because she's probably strong. Go to the party for him, off. He did that stuff for me. Just let this one go. Okay, Chill. Chill. We need to let Stefan and Damon know the room's ready. We gotta stop talking. She could hear us, man. Ooh, can you sense another you witch? That? What's the matter? Are you cool? Like her mess. As well. No, dance with me. Damn. No. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Paralyzed from the waist down. And dead. The moonstone stepping. Tick tock. Over there? The fuck? Night. That's rant. What Night. the hell, man? Damn. It's like that? Shit. How's John, by the way? Were they able to sew his fingers back on? Yeah. Yeah, we just killed that girl. 
I'm still stuck on that. Yeah. Broke her back. Back. Yep. Look at that. Was oh. What the hell is going on? Why the fuck are you? How am I supposed to feel if one of you guys gets hurt because of me? It's not just you anymore, Elena. She's messed with all of us. She has to be stopped. Hermes. Uber confident now with the. Why do you keep dragging me into this? I don't want any part of it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Which. And. Where is she? You laughing? Uh. I did it. Run no away. I really didn't think that I'd be able to fool you, but. Run. I did it. God, you don't bad. really think that you can kill me with that now, do you? And here comes Lima. No. But he can. Ah! Oh, Whoa! Lino, wait, what? Uh, We're connected. Oh wait, we knew Lino. that. Did we know that? Did we know that? Why do I feel like we knew that? No? Maybe we didn't know that. Why do, why do I? I get like a vibe that it was like. Oh, problems, 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 problems. Stop! You're hurting Elena. Everything you're doing to her is hurting Elena. What do we I do can't now? Break the spell, Elena. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, this wasn't a thing in the show. But I can try to take some of the pain away. Okay. Really okay. interesting. Okay. The other witch is doing a spell. That's cool. <laughs> This is really gonna hurt. That's where the other girl is. The one inside. Stay with her, keep pressure on her where shoulder. Are you going? There's another witch here. I'm gonna find her. Do what? Dude, she is all messed up. No. Take this. Oh no, shit. Jeremy, no, no, Jeremy. This. Listen, Jeremy, no. You need this more than I do. No, Jeremy, what I need is for you to pitch. Okay, just uh... Remember how your dad used to slap you around? Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding? Oh shit. This is the picture down the man. Oh my god, yes, go, go, go. You can break them apart. What is going on? Who's that? What the fuck? Who's this? Oh! Look out. oh. No, bro. That was that was too random. Come on, wake up. We're hitting Sir. her head. So open it. It was the moonstone, wasn't it? Good for you, Stefan. Two plus two, and it would have worked, except that people found out that I wasn't in the tomb. Thanks to you, by the way. Have I mentioned how inconvenient your obsession with me has been? Hmm. You and me both, honey. But why do you why do you need it back? I love you in a suit. So dashing. What were you doing with it in the first place? Wasting your breath, Stevan. Unless it wasn't yours to begin with. In eighteen sixty four you faked your death. Who are you running from, Catherine? In 1987, you were in Chicago. At a concert of all places. With that wench, oh, Lexi. Following? Come on, Stefan, don't look so surprised. Of God. Yeah. When I hand this over, my debt to you is over. Done. I owe you nothing. I said done. Give it. I wouldn't do that. Kill her. <clears throat> I'm gonna kill you now, because she's fucking evil. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> You should have told me another witch was involved. Oh, shit, what? She's a Bennett witch, Catherine, but I'm sure you knew that. What does that mean? Wait, Elena. Elena's fine. The spell is broken. She'll heal quickly. Bonnie's with her. What, is, what the hell's on the moon? What the hell did you do? What the hell? I apologize for my involvement. What, 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 what the hell? What was on the... That, that's not for vain. That's like some other shit. Okay, now if we want it, we could literally kill her right now, call it a day, and move on. Matt and I were fighting. You didn't mean to. And I think it's best for everyone. But she's dead. 
You don't know what that means. Actually, I do. Tyler, I think I do. <laughs> no, you don't, Caroline. Catherine died. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Catherine dead? Did we kill her? I'm okay. I'm okay. Because you literally left her. Body took away the pain, and I think I'm healing. I know, but I think you should you should definitely see a doctor. Anyway. Oh, figure that was. See what the fuck? We're morons. Wait, we're, oh wait, we trapped her. She's not there. We trapped her somewhere. Where is she? We gave her the muso. Where are you? Oh, you're in the Damon, don't. Hi. Damon, don't. You need me. Elena's in danger. Wait, what? Come here. You're lying. You're always lying. Why do you think I haven't killed her? Because she's the doppelganger. She needs to be protected. Huh? What? Then I'll protect her. Well, you rotten hell. No. Damon, don't. I'll do anything. Please, Damon. I kind of love that. That is amazing. That is an amazing end to her right now. I don't know if it's going to be the end, but it's a fucking amazing end to her. Better. Oh, shit. What happened now? Yeah, you can drive her home. I'm just going to go straight to bed. Okay. Who's coming to fuck? Who the fuck is you? Okay, okay. Interesting. Uh, I very much love that episode. That was a great episode. What would I give the episode? I don't know. Somewhere, be somewhere between a very high eight and a nine. <laughs> um, the only reason I don't go like guaranteed strong nine is I didn't love the Tyler thing. I love everything after everything before. What caused the thing? It seemed too, I don't know. It seemed too, too, too perfectly needed to happen. Like, let me see what I show you guys. Right, right, let me show you. So, like, so he's about to get stabbed. He shoves her. Like, he shoves her and she breaks her neck. Like, I would have loved to have seen how that actually would have played out more. Like, I think it would have been more interesting than, ooh, he shoved her, broke her neck. Okay. We killed off those two girls in this episode. Which is kind of crazy. Killed off both of those girls. Um, I don't know. That's the only thing that, everything else I, I loved. Everything else I was into. This The Tyler thing is literally the only thing that I was kind of like, eh, on. But everything else I thought was awesome. I love like Catherine's end right there. Awesome. 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 Like. Yeah, that's crazy. That's her end though. So seven. <laughs> I think like I was going to get real mad if we if she died to that moonstone thing and that was the ending. I was actually going to get I would have given the episode like a seven. <laughs> so luckily they didn't do that. Um, Because if somebody else would have killed her. A random person that we just met killed her. That would have been shitty. I love the Bonnie stuff. That was all really good. Bonnie was handled really well in this episode. Caroline was handled really well in this episode. I love the fighting between Matt and Tyler. That was handled really well in this episode. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I liked every, I liked every single thing that happened in this episode except for the way that Tyler became a vampire, uh, a werewolf. Literally, the only thing I don't like. And I can kind of be okay with it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not something I hate. I was kind of like, oh, I would have did it better. A different way. I don't know what the better is, but I would have um, done it a different way. Um, so, let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll break it down. We'll go through it. Like I said, I'll give the episode like a, a high eight, nine range. I thought it was really, really good. Really good. The episode starts off, of course, where we left off, where Matt's getting, you know, mission. Caroline is telling the boys that she saw uh, Catherine at the 
bar or whatever this restaurant is. What was it? The oh, she wants the moonstone and all this stuff. Right? That's what the conversation was, right? Uh, Aunt, whatever her name is, I can't. Oh, I, I, her name, I, Denny. What's her name? She's back. Been told alive what actually happened. Jeremy wants to go kill Catherine. Lena wants us to stay out of it, do whatever she says to not get anybody else in danger. We see that Catherine has a, a a witch friend who comes into town, and I wasn't sure why, and then at the end we kind of figured out that whole thing. And we got a whole crew here. I mean, we got a crew. We got things. We're putting things together. We're going monster hunting, man. And we got this whole plan. Matt, has to, Matt is here. He says he has to go take care of some stuff. Um, We want to make sure everybody's on board. With the plan, we gotta keep Elena away from it. We also whole thing about that uh, Bonnie doesn't want anybody else to die. And we're at the party. We're doing all the stuff we're doing. Um, um, what's the girl? The the girl, actress that plays uh, Elena and Catherine. She she did a really good job as Catherine. I really liked her as Catherine in this episode. Very different vibe. I I, I kind of don't like that they kill these two girls. That what's gonna happen is these two girls just died and then they're gonna be throwaway characters that aren't gonna matter. Like their deaths aren't gonna impact anything. Kinda suck. Well, I never like when that shows do that. Um about like if they if they if they harp on it in the next episode beyond just Tyler being a werewolf now, that might make it interesting. Uh Jeremy and Bonnie are bonding, so that's Elena gets you know, she's gonna she she knows something's up. By the way, Rick's acting. She's gonna sneak out. Of course, we see that later. We got the plan. We got it in motion. And Caroline's, you know, doing, you know, her. I mean, not Caroline. Catherine's doing her Catherine thing. You know, Catherine's like, I don't want to give you the moonstone. She's like, I do. So Catherine decides to kill this girl for no reason because Catherine. Which it's not that she killed her. That they killed her here. I don't know. I would have rather they killed her, a stranger. Um. Then Stefan's freaking out. Uh, at one point she says that oh, you didn't tell me. Oh yeah, we we're gonna talk. Uh, said other uh, her uh, Catherine's witch. Catherine's witch says that you didn't tell me there was another witch here. Jeremy tells her what's gonna where the boys are. You can tell that she's being lured to it. Then of course the, their plan was that she really saw it. Jeremy would tell her that she would she would know it's a trap and she would go to Caroline. Caroline would say this whole other thing and Caroline would lead her upstairs. And I agree when Caroline's like, oh my God, I can't believe I did it. I was so proud of her, man. She did it. it was a, she did a good job. Um, And yeah, then we get here where she's super happy about it and then it's about to be a bite. Ah, and this was a cool ass reveal. But he can. So, for some random reason, I don't know, is there, is there another show that did this? Is there another show that I'm watching with you guys on the channel that did this? Because for some reason, it shocked me, and then I was like, wait, did I know this? Like, for some reason, I was like, did I know that the hurting thing must be a show, that, another show that I watched? But it's a cool reveal. I wasn't expecting it, and then it turns out it's the witch who did it. The witch is doing it, so they have to stop. Jeremy runs up here, stops them from killing her. Um, and then it's this whole fucking thing. It does all kinds of hurt. Um, and then, you know, Catherine's being Catherine. You know, she's talking her smack. And, you know, she's flirting, saying, trying to instigate the problem with the boys. She kept calling Elena the doppelganger. I'm starting to wonder if Elena's a clone. <laughs> like, that'd be weird. Is Elena a clone? Because I'm confused. Um... You know, we're doing the whole back and forth. I love the start of this fight, right? So this whole fight, the way it started, the way Matt was acting, I'm like, yep, you're doing shit that would instigate. Yep, all day. Then Caroline comes in, knocks him out. And I, it's crazy because, of course, Catherine had a plan C if Matt fell through, right? But I just hate that it's just that he shoves her. And then she miraculous. Like, if I shoved you, the odds of me shoving you and then you, like, breaking your neck, like, what are the odds of that? He had to shove her that way. But he could have just shoved her straight. Anywhere else in the room, she would have been fine. But he shoved her to, like, right where the desk is. That's what I don't like. I kind of wish that it was, I don't know. 
just not a meaningful death. Like, I don't know. I would prefer him kill Matt. That would be more interesting if they're going to turn him. Honestly. I thought maybe Caroline would turn her into a vampire to stop the curse from happening, but I think it doesn't matter because she'd be dead anyway. Three turns. Um, we run away. Oh, no. Caroline runs away. Let me go more of the conversation about what's going to happen. Drinking. What's happening here? To begin with. In 1864, you faked your death. Oh, yeah, the whole faking the death, the moonstone, all this stuff. Then, this is an interesting thing. So, they're talking. She's like, you can trust. You. So, that's why she said, you can trust me. Because when Bonnie touched her, she can tell that they're related somehow. She felt that energy of, like, you're, you're a friend. Of, um, I don't know. What does she do to the moonstone? Cause she, oh, I love this thing when Damon was about to kill her and he just was fed up. When she gets the moonstone, what happens to her? What's on the moonstone that made her, like, fall out like that? Uh, but yeah, so get the whole explanation. Essentially, Carolina it was like, you know, I know what's up with you. I know what's up with me, kind of thing. Situation. Bonnie has a family member that she could hopefully talk to in the future. Jeremy and her kind of uh, seem like they're about the date, which would be interesting. Um, I thought that these guys were gonna be good now. We could date, but actually, no. Uh, Elena has to deal with everything she mentioned before, Catherine. Like it's not even the whole Catherine situation. But at this point, I was upset because I was like, wait, they killed Catherine off screen like that? If she died to that rock, that sucked. Let it be known. She had a way amazing demise. She's not dead yet, but demise. Lock her in here. She says she's the doppelganger. Somebody's after her. She's not safe, but I love that. I love that it was Damon, the guy that's been searching for her for so long, in love with her for so many years. He's the one that puts her in there. That's that's cool. Um, and then Elena gets kidnapped because left her alone. But I guess we assume. I guess we assume that everything's okay. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, but that's the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want them. Time to get out of here. I'll talk to you guys later.